Dortmund in the past with hauls of 14 goals and 12 twice. He's kicked 113 this season and hasn't missed a game. His worth to the Cats is immeasurable. But a test tomorrow night will determine if he plays. Today, Ablett was lending his name to V-Line's newest sprinter train, along with another Geelong legend, Bob Davis. But he was restricting his talk to trains and not football. I'd like to thank V-Line for acknowledging Bob Davis, myself and the Geelong Football Club in this way. The former Premiership player and coach has gone from the Geelong Flyer to the sprinter. It is probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me in football, to be acknowledged with the real champion. And there may be more in the Ablett line. Sons Gary Jr, 10, and Nathan, 8, have a head start. The sprinter starts operating the Geelong line on Sunday. Today he had one named after him. The Geelong sprinter train had carriages named in honour of Ablett and the Cats' last premiership coach, Bob Davis. I consider it a great honour. It is great. Uh, <clears throat> I, you know, I'd like to thank V-Line for uh, acknowledging uh, Bob and myself and the Geelong Football Club in this way. It is probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me in football, to be acknowledged with the real champion. And while Gary Ablett was travelling first class today, there was no word from the great man about whether he'd be travelling at all against Richmond on Saturday. I can't talk about any, I'm sorry. Ablett has back problems and internal bleeding in his hamstring. He will try to prove his fitness at training tomorrow night. Me Good evening. The Cats are sweating on champion Gary Ablett, hoping he'll be fit for Saturday's crucial game with the Tigers. Ablett's in doubt with a leg injury, and while his training's been restricted, it's full steam ahead for his fans. Geelong champions past and present Bob Davis and Gary Ablett honoured today, having two V-Line Sprinter rail cars named after them. The new modern train will make life a breeze for passengers on the Melbourne to Geelong line. The people that travel in the train will get as much enjoyment as we will watching Geelong win the grand final this year. Thank you very much. While Ablett's adoring fans gave him the thumbs up, the Geelong champion wasn't keen to discuss a leg injury which has restricted him in recent weeks. Unable to say anything about it at this time. Will their prayers be answered? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Ablett will test the injury at Cadinia Park tomorrow night. And as has been the case in weeks past, he's expected to play against Richmond on Saturday. Ablett has feasted on Richmond in the past with hauls of 14 goals and 12 twice. He's kicked 113 this season and hasn't missed a game. His worth to the Cats is immeasurable. But a test tomorrow night will determine if he plays. Today, Ablett was lending his name... tell with Gary Ablett, uh, he rarely moves at full pace. Uh, but it, you would say that that thigh injury is probably just restricting him a little bit and he's uh, not quite moving there at 100%. Ablett certainly struggled in recent weeks and uh, the Cats have to weigh up whether it's uh, worth uh, short-term gain in tomorrow's vital match or whether they'll save him and try and keep him fit for the finals. One thing that could come into consideration is tonight's match. If North beat Geelong, then they'll, the Cats will have sealed a place in the top eight. And Ablett seems to save his best for Richmond, so I guess that's another consideration. But a final decision, the Cats say at least, will be made shortly after training. Well, if Ablett does miss out, Bill Brownless will be one player to come under plenty of pressure to perform tomorrow.